Yeah, it's uh, Lewis from Tachi Gunas here. Uh, just giving you the Man United uh, post-match review. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get all your Tachi Gunas content. Uh, where do I start? So it's a bit of a bit of a funny game. Like when I saw the lineup, I was I was quite confident before. Like um, if you guys listened to the preview that we did on YouTube, I predicted an Arsenal win. But then obviously I was expecting Tierney to play. I was expecting Saka to play. So having those two not there as well as Oba um, was a big blow to us, you know. Um, so before the game, I wasn't really expecting too much when I saw the team. Um, it was like a real game of like, I felt like the game had huge waves of um, uh, of dominance for each team. You know, it'd be like a 10 minute spell for Arsenal, then a 10 minutes, 10, 15 minute spell for Man United, then 10, 15 minutes for Arsenal. I thought overall Man United had the best of the first half. Uh, they had the best chance, clearly. Um, in the second half, I thought we did a lot better. Um, although Man United, again, they had the best chance. Um, in terms of performances, I thought Leno was fantastic. I'd said, uh, you know, Sky gave Louise man of the match. But I thought, I thought Leno, you know, he pulled off a great, great save from Fred. Um, and he's quietly been going about his business as, as Leno, actually. A bit of an unsung hero. Um, I thought the defence was really solid. Uh, Louise and um, Holden did their job. Holden, again, like, just... I'm not a Holden fan, <laughs> you know. Um, but he's doing he's doing the job, man. And you know what? If a player who isn't that great is doing their job, then you can't really complain. Going forward, yes, I would still like an upgrade on Holden because I just don't think he's the level to get us to where we want to be. But performance-wise, they can't complain. Um, I thought Bellerin and Cedric were fine. Midfield... Partey was really poor today. I don't know if it was effects of the injury. Um, you know, maybe I think we maybe rushed him back again. I don't know. But he just looked off the pace today. He wasn't his uh, usual physically imposing self. Techn like his passing was was really bad. <laughs> it was really, really bad. So hopefully that's just a minor hiccup for him. I'm sure it is. He's a world-class player. So we ain't got much to worry about. I thought Jacka was perfectly fine. Solid in there. Um, would have would have liked him to take a bit more offensive impetus because Partey wasn't firing, but it's Jacker in it. We we know we know what we know what he's about. Um, I thought Emma Smith Rowe petered in and out of the game, but when he was on the ball, he was very 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 good. So um, he's still playing with the safety on. I feel like um, Emma Smith Rowe is, um, but when he's on the ball, he's so lively, injects pace into the game, and. Um, he he was a real bright spot for us when he did actually get on the ball, um, but I think he just needs to he just needs to take the uh, pull the trigger a little bit more, just be a bit more adventurous, be a little bit more, um, you know, just just believe in yourself a little bit more, you know, because he's a good player. So um, I thought, yeah, he was he was good in drips and drabs. Pepe was 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 decent, you know, but again, like I, I just never have confidence when he's coming in from that right hand side. He does that. He does it all the time. He doesn't get enough whip on it. I can't explain it. It's he, the shots never seem to have whip. They just seem to go straight. They don't, you know. They, I can't complain too much. I thought he did all right. He had Shaw um, on toast a few times in the game, um, but I just wish, you know, that that shot that he does. You know, we're just hoping one of them goes in. But yeah, overall, I thought Pepe was okay. Um, worked hard defensively, which is good to see. Um, I thought, I thought uh, Marcelli did okay. Struggled maybe a little bit. I'm still not too sure the reason why he got taken off at our time. Hopefully it wasn't an injury. But if it was tactical, I don't know. But um, I thought it was okay. You know, Lacazette had a few... Uh, well, there was one glaring one where he could have slid uh, Marcelli in. And obviously Marcelli had that great... Um, dribble and pass that he did that almost got lacquer in uh, but other than that he was quiet you know um, he's definitely not fully fit um, Laka I thought did well he battled really well it's good to see that he's not injured after the game he, he's given himself the all clear he battled really well I thought a few moments where you know like I said the, Mar the, the pass where he could have where he went for the shot but could have popped uh, slid Marcinelli in I thought um, he could have done better there but overall Battled well um, and did a few good things as well. Willian, who came on as a, as a sub. <sighs> Do you know what? The fucked thing is, is that was a decent game for Willian. Um, you know, we, we, we did do quite quite a few things when he came on. I mean, 
the chance that he had, oh, anyone but him. You know, the first touch, why are you taking a touch, mate? Just slot it home. Why are you taking a touch? And then when you do take a touch, at least make it a good touch. Get it out of your feet. Jeez, but you know what? That's the, that's the standards now. That's, you know, we know what the level he is. So when I came, when I, when he came on at half time, I wasn't expecting him to do anything. Um, he did a few decent things, I guess. I mean, he's still a hugely frustrating player. He never wants to run off the ball. You know, there was a few times where the overlap is on. Just do it. And he's he's not interested. He, do, he don't want to receive the ball on the run. Um, who else came on? Uh, Erdegaard came on, obviously. Um, didn't, didn't see much of him. I think he only had like three touches. So, um, yeah, uh, obviously... We're still excited to see him and uh, um, and obviously Enketa came out at the end. But yeah, overall, I think we have to be happy with a point. Ideally, you want to win these games is at home. And, you know, that Man United side is not great, man. That Man United side is not great. Even though they had probably the two best chances in the game. I think overall, a draw, maybe they just deserve to nick it because of their quality of chances. But I thought we, we did okay, considering we were without what I would say four starters, if you include Gabriel. Um, definitely free, you know, Tierney, Saka and Oba, if we have those players, I think, I think we probably win the game. Um, you know, all it, you imagine Oba with that William chance, you know, Saka with some of them Pepe chances. I think Saka bends one of them in, you know, I know it's not as simple as that football doesn't work that way, but you know, Tierney, Tierney would have caused havoc on AWB today, who looked pretty, pretty poor, you know, pretty poor. Um, so yeah, I mean overall, I'm not I'm not angry at a draw. You know we've um, Everton dropped points, Spurs dropped points this week, so we're closing the gap slowly. Um, so yeah, in context, the draw not a bad result. But yeah, guys, um, you can uh, get the post match review tomorrow on Tachi Guna's Patreon. That's available to um, on there, and uh, we'll be back, we'll be back with the normal Tachi Guna's on on Thursday. Touchdown Fackers on Sunday as well. Yeah, there's so much uh, content coming for you guys. So hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you soon.